First, we're going to start off with the history of this amazing art. In the 1950s, surfers from the city of California wanted to ride on the streets, so they did. They started with a wooden surfboard-like deck with roller skate wheels. Skateboarding was an after-surfing activity. Towards the late 1960s, skateboarding began to become an alternative sport for teenagers. This was not long-lived, and in 1965 skateboarding completely fell apart and was thought of as a passing fad. Only the true skateboarders were following it through. But they were using clay wheels that could be extremely dangerous. In 1975, Frank Nasworthy created the urethane wheels that are still used to this day. This re-sparked a new life in skateboarding. Soon afterwards, skateboarding was starting to be taken seriously and teams were being formed. Soon after the style of surfing on skateboards, a man called Alan Gelfand, nicknamed Ollie, created the most famous trick in skateboarding, the Ollie. This was the milestone in skateboarding and still is now to this day. In the 70s and 80s, skateboarding became more underground with people building their own ramps from whatever they could find. This is when vert skating was at the top of its game. When the VCR emerged in the 1980s, a group of skateboarders called the Bones Brigade started making videos, most of which to watch to this day. Around the end of the 80s, skateboarding moved more into the street and the vert ramp movement started to become less popular. This had a huge impact on pro skaters. Towards the end of the 90s, skating became more popular again. Now it was about the punk skater defying society and doing what they wanted. In 1995, ESPN created their first event named X Games. This helped the sport become more mainstream which in turn allowed vert skating to become more popular again. Now we arrive at the modern day, where skateboarding is deemed even more mainstream and arguably more accepted by society. My name's Harry Paul, I'm 18 and I live in Chesham. I've been skating for like two and a half years. I've, yeah, like on, yeah, I've been skating for two and a half years. And like I used to ride like a longboard for like a year, which is like a really big skateboard with like massive soft wheels on it. And they were like for like going down hills and that. And then like I thought that was a bit like it was a bit restricted. So then I started riding like short boards, which you can do like tricks on it and stuff. And yeah, like my first board, I think I brought it off some kid who like he obviously stole it from someone because he sold it for me like, for, like 15 quid and it was well good. It had like independent trucks, and this dark star deck, and like. I think it had Spitfire wheels or something, it was well good. Um, right, why do I skateboard? I honestly, like, I don't know, I think it's just, like, the best thing, because, like, you meet so many people through it, and, like, just mates and that, like, how I met you, and, like, people in Chesham, people in Missenden who skate, people in London, people in Wickham, like, you just, like, all people from down the country. I think if you skate, like, it's so much easier to just talk to someone, like, if you know someone's skating, like, like I was at a party once, this guy's shoes were just like fucked, they had like loads of like, <laughs> it sounds well stupid, but like, like he had like, his shoes were like damaged from obviously skating, he had like ollie holes and like kickflip marks on his shoes, and I just started talking about, oh, do you skate? And literally like, we just fucking like jammed like for the entire night, just talking about skating and that. And this is like on New Year's, like we weren't getting like, <laughs> we were just like, shit, this is like the first time I met this guy, we were just like drinking, talking about skateboarding and shit. And like, it was just well fun. Like you can just meet so many people just through like, skating it's, it sounds strange but like i know some people are like, oh yeah it's good to keep fit in that but like i don't even view that when i go to skate i'm just like oh sick i'm gonna like go see these people i'm gonna skate that park or skate this thing and like just have fun try go fast but like i think like being able to like it's only fun skating when it's like sort of warm because like not warm but like just being able to turn is like the best feeling like just to flow on above concrete like rather than walking on it like if I walk places I'm like fuck like, I want to have my skateboard instead because <laughs> you don't want to like I don't know you can just go fast on the skateboard and people like they see someone skating and they get like kind of stoked off of it I guess they're like oh fuck like they're having fun but then some people just look at you as if you're a dickhead like oh why are you riding that <laughs> you're too old <laughs> 
it does seem like skateboarding has been it has been made a lot more mainstream like people use it in adverts like rap videos and it's like these people don't even skate they're trying to merchandise like they're not sorry they're trying to um like represent their product their music to like aim towards skaters and it's just like that's not what skaters are about like we just want to skate we don't want to have like a hip-hop brand or like a fucking metal band that represents skating like skating is what represents skating i think with music and that definitely people are trying to be like oh yeah if you skate as if you skate watch this it's just a bit like well now i'll drive go skate and sit on my computer and watch your shitty rap video for five minutes <laughs> Yeah, there's always going to be people trying to make money off of it, but I think within that, there's companies who still keep like the essence of skateboarding rather than just being like, oh, we've got new graphics, we've got new boards, buy this now, buy. Because with skateboarding, it is expensive, and you can't like you you can't always afford to spend that much money when you got to like, go travel places and that as well. Like, like, it's really difficult because like the Olympics is like. It's like, oh yeah, we judge it by like, how would they judge it? Like, you can't judge skateboarding. Someone could like land something really like technical and like really like well thought of, and it's taken them years to do. But then someone could land like a, like a simple trick really fast and like almost not land it and make it look sick because they did land it and they pulled it last minute and like, yeah, you can't. I don't think you could judge it in that way. But my training for skateboarding, would you do that? Like, I, I know you're asking the questions, but would you train to skate? Like, oh yeah, I'm gonna lift 20 fucking weights in a row and do like 100 push-ups so I can do my Ollie airs better. Like, you wouldn't do it, would you? Like, that takes the fun out of it. I think if you put in the, if you put skateboarding in the Olympics, the athletes who were skating wouldn't have fun because they'd be training for it and they'd have to do well for their sponsors and that's not what it's about like at all like skating is like having fun traveling just having a laugh yeah uh, this is like the underground car park where we skate we're like if it's like raining or whatever if the weather's a bit bad like it's a bit showery today and that then we've got curbs in here so we can like skate them and that where we've been skating. I've been skating here since I've been skating, so like about two and a half, two years, or whatever. But it's been skated since like the late 90s, I think. The winters are cold, the spring is cold and wet, and then the summers are usually hot and wet. Hot and wet. And then like October is usually okay. And then it does it full circle again. I reshape boards because like, Sometimes regular shapes are just boring, so yeah, I reshape decks because you can do whatever shapes you like. I quite like pointing those and stuff. I sanded off the graphic of this deck as well, I just did my own spray job because I just wanted to, I guess. <laughs>
I'm Piff, I'm 17 and I'm from Presswood. I've been skating for five years. Uh, the first board I got was a board from, I think it was from the Donny shop. Um, and it was like tiny, it was like this big. And yeah, I just started skating because I saw it in Tony Hawk's games and wanted to do it. I think skateboarding's good, like where it is in society, like it's not it's not like too mainstream but a lot of people a lot more people do it these days in the future I'd want it to I'd want skateboarding to like sort of stay where it is like not not too like popular but sort of in the middle um, uh, but I'd like to see people be more creative with it so like changed like it has since like the 80s really but like people like Richie Jackson and Day One Song. My name's Will David, I'm 16 and I come from Longwick. There isn't really a meaning to skateboarding, it's just kind of like something you do, something you get into, like it's someone else with football or something, you just get into it and it's just kind of what you do. It's like second nature kind of thing. It should become like underground but not unpopular like so people loads of people do it but people hate it as well just for the fun of it so I don't know it's like fuck news Hi, I'm, I'm Josh Weech and I'm 15 years old. I'm from High Wycombe and I've been skateboarding for about three or four years now. Basically, this is uh, where we had the bowl, as you can see. This is around the outside. We had to fill it in because the council were being um, silly. Um, because of the land we built it on and basically where I'm stood now if the bowl was still here I'd be six feet underground so I'm Lewis, I'm 17 and I'm from Ellsbury. I first started skating because of my brother. My brother got me into skating. Um, I remember just watching him down at the park with his mates and I was thinking, yeah, that looks wicked. Like, I really want to try that. I must have been about 12 probably, so quite young. Um, I think my first actual board, well, I say actual, but it was some Argos complete. It wasn't good at all. Um, I think I just learned to push on it and maybe ollie on it um, and then my first proper board uh, was, was uh, I think it was like a enough complete um, from a shop called BBC which was in High Wycombe but it's not there anymore they closed down um, and then from there I just learned the basics on that like ollies, pop shove it, I think I got kick bits I skateboard because I use it as an escape from everything really, like college work, if you're really stressed about it, family issues, like you come skating, you just forget about it all, like you just have a good time, good times. Um, I also skate because like it's a good way of meeting people, like meeting up with your friends, um, I suppose it, yeah, it keeps you out of trouble and stuff, like it's good. 
Um, but the best thing of it probably is trying to trying to land a new trick. If like, if you see something, you'll be like, oh, I really want to do that. And then you'll push yourself to get it. It may take hours to land, but when you land it, it's the best feeling you will get. Like literally the best feeling. I love skating so much because I think you can just be so creative with it. Like, there's so many different types of skating, like vert skating, which is like big half pipes and big ramps. There's street skating, where obviously you go out to the streets, uh, you'll find find the ramps if you like. Uh, you'll find like a stair set, ledges, rails, and just like you can create it from there. Really, take it off your own back. Um, you don't really. There's no. I know you hear this on a lot of skating documentaries, but like, there's no coach involved. Like you, you've got no one pushing you. You can do what you like. There's no limit to it. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I'd say that skateboarding wasn't popular enough. Um, I think people choose to BMX over skating because it's easier in a way. Sorry for all you BMXers out there, but like. There's a lot more involved in skating because it's obviously board, a bit of wood with four small wheels and you haven't got a lot of control. Yeah, I think uh, skating has become really popular because you see it in so many music videos, uh, like rap videos, like for instance Lil Wayne, he started skating. I heard he's stopped his music career to skate. I don't know if that's true, but that's what I heard. Um, and in almost every single music video he's made recently there's skating involved um, and a lot of advertising the skating um, but really yeah I think that'd be wicked if skating did become really big um, yeah I'd like to see more people skating like I think um, the stereo like people think skaters to be bad, bad people uh, I think they think all oh, their little chavs skating around, they're up to no good. Right up to here with it. If it carries on like this, we're gonna close it down. Now, the choice is yours. Yeah. Maybe you didn't break that down, but you've got no business being in there. Why the hell do you think we've padlocked the gates?
I'm Cameron Linford, I'm 15, I'm from High Wycombe, Buckinghamshire. I started skating about six and a half years ago. Uh, when I was about seven I got my first board, which was just some board from like Halfords, you know. And then I didn't really use it much until I was about ten, and then I started getting into it properly. And then I got one of those like no fear boards, and then it just went on from there really. Uh, started going to Maidenhead Skate Park a lot, and then found out about Wickham, and just kept going really. To me, skating is just represents freedom. You can do what you want, when you want. Like, you have your unique style. You can do your own tricks, there's no set times of practice. And, and then it just, you're free to do what you want. Uh, you can skate like half pipes, like vert skaters. You can skate in the streets, like stair sets, handrails, or you could skate in the parks. It's all it shares the same sort of idea of just progression and just perfecting this art. I think, especially in recent times, skating's become way more popular. Like it's now as popular as some of the sort of mainstream sports like football, rugby, those sort of things. And like it, back in the day, it used to be like just the outcasts. Like it was considered like one of the, like amongst the sort of punk groups. And now everyone does a version of it. And like you have way more BMXs, inliners, uh, and it's just. It's place in society is just heightened dramatically. Like there's way more skate parks. I mean, still it's looked down upon. I feel like people don't really take it as like a uh, sort of one of those sports. Like people don't think that you can actually do it for a living. I don't think, but lots of people do. I think for the future, I definitely want it to just keep progressing. Like at the mo at the rate it's going, like stuff is just that people never even thought possible is just becoming like more and more done by like pros. I mean if you watch like the X Games, Street League, sort of Maloof Money Cup, those sort of things, like the level of skating is just to a point it's never been before. Like and I think it's gonna continue like that. I can't really see it dying out anytime soon because there's so much love for it. Like it's just the way of life for sort of so many other people like myself. For all y'all enjoyment, a song y'all can step with Y'all appointed me to bring rap justice But I ain't 5 y'all know it's Nas, yo Grey Goose and a whole lot of Hydro Only describe us as soldier survivors Stay laced in the best, well-dressed with finesse in the white tee Looking for white meat The girl who fly and talk so nicely Put her in the coupe so she can feel the nice breeze We can drive through the city, no doubt But don't say my car's topless Say the titties is out Newness, here's the anthem Put your hand up that you shoot with, count your loot with Push the pool stick in your new crib Same hand that you hook with, swing around like you stupid King of the town, yeah I been that You know I click clack, where you and your men's at Through the smurf, through the wop, baseball bat Rooftop like we bringing 88 back They shooting, oh, I made you look You a slave to a page in my rhyme book Getting big money, playboy, your time's up Where them gangsters, where them dimes at They shooting I made you look, you a slave to a page in my rhyme book Getting big money, playboy, your time's up Where them gangsters at, where them dimes at This ain't rapping, this is street hop Now get up off your ass like your seat's hot My live niggas lit up the reefer Trunk in the car, we got the street sweeper Don't start none, won't be none No reason for your mans to panic You don't wanna see no ambulances Knock a pimp's drink down in this pimp cup That's the way you get Timberland up let the music diffuse all attention Ball of convention, free admission Hustlers deal